Hi, I'm Carl Taylor and this episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Here's my commercial photography website. It's a Squarespace one and I absolutely love it. They are easy to set up, they look amazing, there are hundreds of templates to choose from and they have first class customer support. If you want one too, then use this URL and the coupon code CARL to get a 10% discount. So, uh, the next part of our Broncolor Cirrus lighting review test is the flash duration and speed test. Now, um, a while ago at Shoot London, I did this shot live, which was two whiskey tumblers smashing together and the impact causing the shattering glass and the flying liquid. And I was really pleased with this shot because that's no Photoshop, that's a shot that we produced live at the show. Uh, with the setup behind me, which I'll run through in a second. Now, to capture that frozen so quickly and uh, so sharply requires a very fast flash duration that Broncolor are famous for and renowned for, especially with their Scoro packs. Now, the Scoro pack is a professional pack system. It's uh, an expensive system, um, but it is a top end fast flash duration, high power system, and I use these for my studio work. Now, their newly introduced Cirrus lights have this flash cutoff technology in them, not as fast as the Scoro pack, admittedly, but still uh, amongst the fastest on the market, especially at the budget. Uh, and remember, these Cirrus 2 kits are coming in, I think, around the 2,400 pound mark, which is about $3,500 for the two light kit that we've been demonstrating. Now, what we're gonna do here is run the same speed test with this flying liquid and smashing glass. So come and have a look what we've got set up. So we've got two ski ramps that uh, Tim designed and then we had constructed. We drop a whiskey tumbler, let it slide down the ski ramp from each side. The two whiskey tumblers fly in the air, collide, crash, smash, explode, liquid everywhere, glass flying everywhere. The camera is here and we have a trigger on an app that senses the sound of the crash and it fires the camera. The camera is in mirror lock up mode so that there is very little delay from the app telling the camera to fire and it fires the flashes. The Cirrus flashes are at the back. Let's have a look. We're firing a Cirrus flash through some frosted perspex to create a nice ball of glow of light. And that actually is the main illumination on the glass. Transparent through the liquid, through the glass, that's enough illumination. There's no front illumination on this shot at all, just that back illumination. This second Cirrus light with the softbox on is simply to add a little bit of additional light around this perspex so that the edges do not go too darkly vignetted. So this is going to be the ball of light here, then it would vignette out quite darkly. So the additional spread of light there just softens that darker area up to a lighter grey tone so that my vignette is more gradual. So those are the two Cirrus lights. Now with the Cirrus lights, the same as the Scoros, you do need to reduce the power a little bit to get them working on the very fast flash durations. Now the Scoros are more powerful unit. I've set this up uh, at the settings I need to get a fast flash duration and we'll see if it is fast enough to freeze the high impact energy stuff that we've got going on over here. Because this is a very fast action stuff. Because action and speed is also dictated by the compact area. The smaller area that you're photographing, uh, the more motion is apparent going across that small distance. So that is another factor that means this is a very high speed shot to be uh, achieved and captured. We're pretty much set up. We're pretty ready to go. It does take a few attempts does make a big load of mess. We've got to wear safety glasses and Fabian over there is going to assist me as we let these glasses slide and hopefully this will work out. Right, let's talk quietly to build the tension. Okay, so we're going to go with our first test. I'm talking quietly because of the sound trigger. 
which we need to be activated by the glass sound. Fabi and I are gonna go three, two, one, go, okay? We hold it at the top, Fab, I can't remember. All right. Oh, safety glasses. I need safety glasses. Safety glasses, very important. Okay, here we go again. So let's put this in position. All right, are you ready? Let me just get my hands in the right place because I've not done this before on this position. Three, two, one, go. Turn the trigger off. Let's have a look what we got. So the trigger went again twice after the explosion, but look at that, we've got a result. So on that particular shot, the Cirrus has frozen that liquid and that impact absolutely perfectly. That is incredible. For a system that is so uh, less expensive than the pro-level Scoro system, this is an excellent complement to the uh, Broncolor range. I mean, to have that ability and technology in, in a, in a monolite system priced as it is priced, this is incredible. I'm actually quite surprised by this. Um, it's, it's, that's, that is quite amazing. Look at that. Look at the detail of that glass frozen in time with that very, very fast flash duration. No image trace, no image blur at all here. Um, the elements of the image that are out of focus there are just because of the depth of field, but all of these little droplets here, I mean, look at those droplets. They're absolutely pin sharp. So that is absolutely fantastic. Blown away by that. All of those elements have been frozen absolutely perfectly. So that is amazing. I'm so impressed with that. I may even just do another couple of tests for the fun of it. Um, let, yeah, let's do a couple more. This is great fun. Let's do another one. turn the trigger off because it keeps triggering from the extra noise. Let's see, I think we're, timing was out a little bit there. Um, but still work, look at that. Look at that detail captured there. That, again, incredible. I mean, the, let's zoom out on the shot. So we, we actually missed it because the timing was out on the glasses colliding. Either one of us released too early or too late. But it doesn't matter because it doesn't affect the test. That proves that what we needed to happen is absolutely working perfectly. We've got a super fast flash duration, freezing every little droplet, every bit of detail, all those pieces of flying glass, all captured and frozen absolutely perfectly. So this is testament to uh, what Bruncolor have done here with Cirrus lights uh, at that amazing price. Now remember, you can win these Cirrus lights, okay? We are running a competition at the moment. Um, if you wanna find out more details about this competition, this competition revolves around sharing the competition, okay? And you can find out how you can win and how you can enter by going to this URL that's coming up on screen. You go to that URL, to that web page, follow the instructions, and you can win these great two Cirrus lights. Let's take a look at these Cirrus lights again, because my overall review on these Cirrus lights, right? I am genuinely surprised. I'm a Broncolor user, big Broncolor fan, and I do some stuff with Broncolor, uh, some work with those guys. Um, but 
in an unbiased position here, these are absolutely fantastic. Uh, the Wi-Fi control, absolutely fantastic. The kit case that it comes with, the mobility of it all, what you get in the kit with the stands, the softbox, and the whole price of that package is fantastic, okay? There's a couple of things that I don't like so much about these lights, okay? I find the control a little bit fiddly initially, okay? It took a little bit of time to get used to working out, to rotate it around here, how to set up the Wi-Fi, but I'm, I'm very impatient. I don't like to read instructions. When I read the instructions, I did figure it out and it all made sense, okay? There's great little features like these color coding the lights, so when you're working on the app, you know which light you're controlling. The speed test just then, incredible, okay? Uh, the modeling lamps, 300 watt modeling lamps, the design, the look, the whole package. And even better than that, for a lot of photographers, is the fact that if you get into the Broncolor system and you're using these Broncolor accessories, these lights and all the other Broncolor Ranger stuff can be attached to those lights. So you've got the full repertoire of the Broncolor professional range that you can build up to or add to in the future. So uh, really pleased with the results. Those tests prove the speed tests. If you want to find out about entering this competition, uh, visit that URL at the bottom of the page and you have a chance to win that Cirrus lighting kit. Hope you found that review useful. We'll see you next time.